certified personal trainer and a group fitness instructor here at the Promo Rec Center. And we have Lindsay with us. She's also a certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor. And then Lauren will be joining us in 20 seconds. Um, but today we're going to be doing a HIIT workout. It's 30 minutes long. What we're going to do is we're going to have six moves. We're going to do each of those moves for 30 seconds, followed by a 30 second rest. We're going to go through each one of them one time, then we'll have a little break, and we'll do it again, and then again. But the key is, is during those 30 seconds where you're going to push hard, you're going to push as hard as you can go, and then during the 30 seconds of rest, your goal is to get your heart rate down as low as you can. Those rest periods are so important because they allow you to push hard for the next 30 seconds. So utilize that rest, grab a drink of water, but we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up. Lindsay will be doing modifications for us today. Um, so you can watch her, but you can grab, we're going to be using also a chair and a set of weights. At home you can just grab milk jugs, your kids, your pets, just be safe. Don't recommend grabbing anything made of glass. Um, just be safe when you do it, but you can modify um, and go at your own pace. That's what's awesome about this workout. You do it at your own pace. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up, then I'll introduce the six moves, and then we'll set the interval, trainer, or the interval timer and get going. So here we go. All right, to start out, we're going to just jump over place. Nice and light on our feet, core is engaged. Forming up those joints, those muscles. Here we go, we're going to take it to jumping jacks. Okay, a modification like Lindsay's doing, stay nice and low. Reach far. Okay, we're going to take it to a squat. Here we go, making sure our feet are parallel. Chest is up. Try not to bend over. Make sure those knees stay behind those toes. Weight sinks into your heels. Watch the change. We're going to squat, reach back and lunge. Again, squat, this side, reach back and lunge. Again, squat, lunge, squat. Lunge, clasp on each side, squat. Make sure that spine is nice and tall. Here we go, jump rope. Make sure you're using those arms when we go those biceps and shoulders. Jumping jacks. Okay, watch the change. Forward side, warming up those shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Take it to a squat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Add the lunge. Here we go. Lunge back. Squat. Again, other side. Two more on each side. Step it back. Watch those knees. Make sure they stay behind those toes. All right. Okay, here we go. Nice try, guys. We're going to start. These are our six moves. We're going to introduce them really quickly. First move is called Crazy Dorothy's. You're going to lunge, lunge, squat, heel tap. Make sure you're landing nice and soft with those knees bent. Modification. Step back, step back. Side lunge, okay? We have the other side. Next move, mountain climbers. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to do four. One, two, three, four. Two tricep push-ups. Elbows in nice and tight. That's move number two. Move number three, dumbbell thrusters. Come into a squat, weights are right here. We're going to drive up. Power originating from our legs. Nice. Okay, next move. Jumping jack, come back into a burpee, plank jack. Come up, jumping jack, modification, step back, step out, out, step in, and up, okay? Last two moves, we're gonna grab our chair, bring our weights with us. We're gonna do a glute bridge, resting our shoulder blades on our chair, oops. Okay, tighten those cute little bum cheeks. Palms face each other, we're gonna open wide into a chest fly, elbows down, press up. Chest fly, elbows down into a row, and press up. That's move number five. Last one is a cardio move, it's a squat shuffle. Shuffle, 
shuffle. All right, tapping the floor. An option is just keep it right here and down. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our timer. Here we go, first move is crazy Dorothy's lunge, lunge, squat, we've got 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge, lunge. Make sure you land nice and soft. Pretend you've got angry neighbors downstairs. We've got a baby that's sleeping. Okay, so land nice and soft. I know that bird feels so good and so bad. We've got five more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds. Breathe deep, bring that heart right down. You can sip a drink of water. Thank you, Lauren. All right. Next move coming up. We've got mountain climbers for a count of four and then two tricep push-ups. All right. Here we go, get on your mat. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Core is engaged. Make sure that your wrists are directly beneath your shoulders. Elbows stand nice and tight for those tricep push-ups. Notice Lindsay is doing the modification, comes down to her knees, but her triceps still stand nice and tight. Here we go. 10 more seconds. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Pop up. 30 seconds, nice job. Breathe deep. Allow the heart rate to come down. Next move, we've got our dumbbell thrusters. Okay, you can grab some weight, a bag of rice, a bag of sugar, whatever you've got. All right, make sure your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. The power is originating from your legs. Elbows stand towards the middle of your body. We're gonna begin in three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds. Good, make sure those weight, your weight is in your heels. Press up, press. Core is engaged. Power originating in those glutes, driving you up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. 30 seconds. Right here. Breathe deep. Bring that heart rate down. All right, interval training is so valuable. It's so good for you. Study after study after study shows that. But you've got to incorporate those rest periods. Here we go. We've got our burpee with a jack. I'll tell you why it's just a little bit more important. Here we go. Let's begin. 30 seconds. Plank jack. Come on. Make sure in that plank, you're keeping your hips from sinking. Engage that core. Engage those glutes. We're halfway. Come on. We can do it. Chest stays up. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Cover 
to your diaphragm, which is right here, right underneath your lungs. And when your breathing slows down, that diaphragm sends a message to your breathing and says, hey, you're okay. Bring me down. Let go of the cortisol, the adrenaline. Your heart doesn't have to be pumping so hard. So it allows you to bring your heart rate down. So breathing deep helps for that to occur faster. All right. We've got about one more minute. How are you feeling? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again this time. Hopefully, if you had an interval, you're like, that didn't work very well. Okay, add some weight or try to explode a little harder, a little faster. Okay, but this is up to you. This is your workout. Or if you felt like that was way too hard. Take it down, do modifications. That is totally okay. That's why intervals are such an awesome way to work out. It's because you can modify. You can do what's right for your body. Okay, we've got about 20 more seconds, right? Till it's two minutes. Sorry, I should know that. I'm the one that's the instructor here. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we've got about 10 more seconds. Okay, we're gonna start again with our crazy Dorothy's. All right. In three, two, one, let's go. Lunge, lunge. Explode, land soft. Here we go. Okay, listen to those feet. If you're hearing thuds, big thuds, I want you to take out that jump, all right? Woo! Modify just a little bit. You want to be able to control yourself on the way down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, check out heart rate. Breathe deep. You got this. Here we go. All right. Okay, we're gonna come to our mat. We still got 15 seconds. No worries. But as you go into that plank, make sure that your wrists are directly beneath your elbows and your elbows are directly beneath your shoulders. A lot of times we seek back like this. I don't wanna see that. Okay, keep those shoulders stacked. Here we go. Four mountain climbers, two tricep dips or two tricep push ups. Let's go. Keep those elbows in nice and tight against the side of those ribs. It's going to force those triceps to work hard. Here we go. Ten more seconds. Come on. Two, three, two, one. Nice. Go ahead and sit back. Stretch it out just a little bit. Breathe. Keeping that head above your heart, okay? We've got dumbbell thrusters coming up in about 10 seconds. So grab those dumbbells. All right, core is engaged. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Head and chest are up. Three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds. Press up, okay? Your shoulders are assisting right now. Your legs are doing 85% of the work to press that weight up. Here we go. Breathe. Grab those dumbbells. I'm actually going to use Lauren to demonstrate. 
demonstrate for this one, because I want to make sure you're doing your form. Right, we're going to begin. Three, two, one, let's go. Watch Lauren, she keeps a small bend in her elbows. But if you watch her arms, do not bend more as they come up. They're like Barbie arms, they're locked in place, okay? That's forcing her pecs for her chest to work. All right, Lizzie's got a great glute bridge. Okay, she's stabilizing that core, keeping it going. Here we go, try to go four, three, two, and one. Nice job. 30 second rest, okay? Chest flies are a really common exercise, and what happens a lot is that people allow their weights to fall open, okay? So they, they take their thumbs to the ground. That's not good, okay? You wanna keep your palms forward the whole time. Bring them together and bring it back. Another thing they do is they bend their elbows as they come in. See how that changes? You want those elbows to be like Barbie arms, okay? Here we go. We've got, oh, we've got a squat shuffle in three, two, one. Let's go, last one for this set. Come on, really explode. How much ground can you cover? Let's go. Keep that head and chest up. Allow those hips to sink nice and low into a squat. We've got five, four, three, two, last one. One. Woo! Woo! All right, two minutes. Again, to bring that heart rate down, sip some water. All right. Okay, we can do this. We got one more set. Let me get my heart down. We were just talking about before, as we were working out, how good it feels to move our bodies, especially when they're full of stress and emotion, right? I love working out because it forces me to feel right now what my body is experiencing. It reminds me, I'm alive. And right now in this moment, I'm okay, right? And I think it's important, even sometimes when we're comfortable and our lungs are burning and our quads are burning, that still is a reminder that, hey, we are alive, right? And that is a beautiful and wonderful thing to be. So, it allows us to have control of the present moment, this moment right now. Like, we can't control any of that other stuff, but right now, you can control how you choose to show up and how you choose to be here. We've got 30 more seconds. Hopefully, your heart rate has calmed down. If not, continue to take those deep breaths. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna go through this one more time, guys. Then we've got a good cool down for you. We're gonna start with those crazy Dorothy's. I want this to be the best crazy Dorothy's you've done all day. Here we go. Crazy. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, land soft. Make sure that head and chest stay up. Come on. Make sure those knees aren't caving towards the middle of your body. If you need to slow down to make sure that you're nice and solid. Please do that. 10 more seconds here, come on. There's no place like home. Heel tap. No place like home when you're working out from home. That's awesome, three, two, one. Jeez, go ahead and stop. 30 seconds. Lindsay's feeling ambitious. She's going past the 30 seconds. I have to finish the move. Oh, I have nice. to finish the move. Nice. Me too. All right. I don't know. I did it now. All right. Mountain climbers for four with those two tricep push ups. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Keep those elbows in. Make sure those middle fingers are pointed straight in front of you. Okay. That allows for proper alignment. Okay. I'm losing my form. So I'm taking it down to my knees. That's okay. It's better to maintain your form. Three, 
to improve our quality of life. It's not our quality of life, right? So if you feel like you're losing your form, there's no shame in bringing it down and modifying, keeping you safe. Here we go, grab those weights. We've got dumbbell thrusters in three, two, one. Let's go, come on. If you wonder why I have shifty eyes, it's because we have a timer over there. And I keep wanting to make sure I'm not giving you too much rest. Here we go. Come on. Five more seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one. Guys, we only got three more left. Here we go. We've got our burpee with the jack. Someone just stuck it in the right center. Just kidding. I'm pretty sure she works here. Untuck those toes. Arm raising those arms overhead. 
into the middle. Straight legs. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Nice and controlled. Deep breath in. We do the same thing on the other side. Come to a sumo squat. Shift this that weight back and forth if you feel comfortable. All right. Slide that foot out. Straighten that right leg. Look, I can do it on my left. This is really my left side. You should be on your right side. But so one of my hips, I guess, one side is really tight. And that's okay. All right, come over to a runner's lunge. Straighten that back leg, pressing through that back heel. Having some energy through that long, strong leg. Drop that knee to the floor. Untuck those toes. Here we go. And it's just a weight forward. Oh, that feels so good. Continue to breathe. Place those hands on either side of that front foot. Bring that back leg in. Straighten that front leg. Take your chest as close to your quads as you can. Bring that leg. Spine is nice and long. Continue to breathe. Okay, come to the middle. Again, slowly roll up. One bird at a time. We're going to stretch that upper body. And then we'll be done. Two breath in. Sink. Drop that hand between those shoulder blades. A lot of times we kind of curve forward. Don't do that. Open up that chest. Roll that shoulder back. Other side. Continue to breathe. All right, we're going to reach our hands behind our back. Clasp those fingers together. And we're going to go ahead and roll, those, roll your neck. Three deep inhales. And exhale. Again, two. Last one. Meet me halfway. Give yourselves a hand. Nice job. We work out with us today. Hope you get some good food in your body. Drink lots of water. And extra some gratitude that we can move today. Have a great day. Stay healthy.